the hardest beast to slay when it comes to any hobby is scheduling. It's herding all the cats together and saying, we're going to play this. Now, specifically today for tabletop hobbies, we're going to talk about the two that I like to like the most, which is tabletop role playing and board games. There's more to it than that. There's models, there's war gaming, there's painting. There's a lot to it. Those are just three examples, but there's far more to it than what I said. I'm also going to talk about TikTok. Now, I know a lot of people have opinions on TikTok, but here's mine. As for my experience, why should I be the one to tell you about this? Well, I have the better part of a decade, if not more, because I don't actually keep track. I'm an old man after all. Uh, decade or so of experience with board games, with running and playing in role-playing games. I have friends who have even more experience and can actually help me out. And they have thousands of dollars. You heard me, thousands of dollars tied into board games. As for TikTok, I've only been on for like a few months, but it's fun and I like it. I'm learning new things every day about it. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about role-playing games. A lot of people think about D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. There's more to it than that. There is also Shadowrun, which has been around almost as long. There's Blades in the Dark, the new one that I really like. There's Pathfinder and Starfinder, which are sort of like D&D, where we have the weird shapes dice and you're rolling it and you don't really know unless you're actually playing the game. But one is uh, the Pathfinder and Starfinder, it's a lot more crunchy people like to say. There's more numbers and figuring out and optimizing your guy. d d is more loose and open. Speaking of games that you could be, you can play on a tabletop, there's also board games. Now with board games, a lot of people think about Monopoly. And again, there's more to it than that. There's social deduction games like Secret Hitler. Yes, you heard me, the game is called Secret Hitler. Try and guess what it's about. There's bluffing games, like the one I talked about the first day of class, Sheriff of Nottingham, where you're trying to sneak contraband into a medieval market. There's worker placement games like Mint, where you, it's the Mint tin, that is how small it is. And you're basically just putting little wooden pieces on cards and saying, this is where I'm putting all my workers. This is where I'm putting all my resources. And there's more to it than just Monopoly, but like I said, there's, with role-playing games, there is so much more. There is so much you could do just with board games. You have, you can see people with walls just of boxes of board games. Now it's a shame, a real shame that I can't always play as much as I want. But that's what I have TikTok for. I can be involved with the communities that I like without being with my community, without my friend group or my brother's friend groups, or anyone else, I can still be interactive. I can still talk with new players, old players, people who run the game, people who want to show off the new stuff. It's a really quick, really easy way of doing it. And I can respond. And you can see on, on the TikTok, that there are a lot of people who will post as their characters, their original characters. They will dress up and reply to people's questions as that character. It's a good way to flesh them out. All in all, everything I talked about is a good way to meet with new friends and old friends. Get everyone together, if you can herd the cats together. Especially, uh, especially role play. I, I, you see a lot of issues with that. I'm not gonna lie. But also, like I said, the hardest beast to slay is the schedule. But at every time you meet together, play with friends, Maybe you had some drinks, have some good food, whatever's around, and you just use the tabletop experience as a way to get everyone together. Every time you do that, it's worth it. It's worth conquering that beast on that schedule. Thank you.